At the end of this video, your game will look like this. and welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial video. So today I am going to be teaching you how to make a movie theater. I'm not going to be teaching you how to make your own movies as that is currently not a part of the default Roblox uh, video feature. But if this video gets, I don't know, we'll say something stupid. If this video gets 100 likes, and I know it won't, so that's why I'm saying that. I will make a custom video animation module and uh, make a tutorial on how to make your own movies. Uh, uh, yeah, I hope that uh, don't like this video. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna be teaching you how to use the new videos, where you can get videos, and why you should use these. There are some really good cases of using videos, but for this video, of using Roblox videos, this video, it's kind of confusing. But for this specific uh, video, I'll be teaching you how to make a randomized screen that plays different videos that you can add to it. So, what we're gonna start with now is a probably, you probably want the aspect ratio to be about a standard aspect ratio. Uh, you're gonna wanna just start with a brick. And now you're going to add a surface GUI with a video frame. You're going to want to make sure this video frame is sized exactly like your part. So you're just going to want to set the uh, X scale to 1, the offset to 0, and the same thing for the Y axis. And now you basically just have a white frame. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set... Uh, you're going to want to set some stuff up. So right away you see this little video box so we'll worry about that later now you're going to want to insert a couple of things you're going to want to add a bool value and rename it to can video and i'm pretty sure this has to be true i'm not sure it's, it's been a while since i made my original movie theater project and now you're going to want to add a script so now let's go ahead and start making our script. So you're gonna want to start with local base ID equals RBX asset ID colon forward slash twice. This has to look exactly like this. If your script isn't working, I recommend checking this first. And then you're gonna want to write local number ID equals nil. And then you're gonna wanna write wall weight 0.1 do. And I'm sure there's a more efficient way to do this, but this is a basic guide. Uh, and walls are, wall true do's are basically only good for stuff like smaller games, displaying videos, uh, like what we're making. So then you're gonna wanna do if script.parent.time pos, dot time position, uh, I'm writing item, <laughs> time position is greater than script.parent.time length minus 0 0.15 and the script.parent.canvideo.value equals true then so what this is pretty much doing and i'm actually going to explain this this needs to be a double, double equals uh i'm going to explain this really quickly this is basically checking if the program is allowed to run the video and the video is over or within the last like half a, uh, not even half, like fifth of a second of its uh, time running. So then you're gonna want wanna write script.parent.canvideo.value equals false, and this will just simply make it so that the video won't run anymore. And then you're gonna wanna write script.parent.playing equals false, so, you know, you stop the video from running. You're gonna wanna write script.parent.time position equals zero, and now we're gonna actually, uh, in a moment, we're gonna have to get some video IDs. Uh, I'll show you how to get video IDs uh, through a little edit in I put in uh, in post. So for now, we're just going to keep scripting. So local rent. So you're going to want to write local random ID equals math dot random one. And then the amount of videos you have. For me, I'm going to go for three. So then you're going to want to write if random ID equals equals one, then number ID and here, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get video, 
those. They're basically just some numbers that you'll need to go ahead and get in order to uh, play videos. So, whoosh. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get videos. You're going to need to click on create. So I'll go ahead and start from create. It will take you to my creations and then you're gonna wanna click on library. This will be changing soon, uh, but if that happens, just go ahead and look up a tutorial on the new developer marketplace that will be coming out sometime soon. But now you're gonna wanna go to video and you're gonna wanna find the videos that you like. So for example, let's go to this carding uh, bacon man video. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to this video uh, and you're gonna wanna go, come up to the link and double click on these numbers right next to the library. You're gonna wanna press Control and C at the same time to copy it. And now, as you can see, if you press Control V, it will paste it. You're just gonna wanna go ahead and paste all the codes you want into the script we just made. And now that we're done with that, what you're gonna wanna do is write number ID equals, and now you're gonna paste in your video ID. I've got some pre-ready, uh, so that I can paste them in. So we're gonna have that, and then we have uh, two more, and then you're just gonna wanna do else if random ID equals equals two, then number ID uh, equals, and then your next uh, video. So you can just copy and paste this script, uh, this a little chunk of code as much as you want. You have to replace these video IDs and this number. Uh, so now that we're done with that, we're gonna wanna write wait 0.5 script.parent.canvideo.value equals true. Script.parent.video equals base ID dot dot number ID. That's very important. And then you're gonna wanna write script.parent.time position equals zero again, just for consistency. And then script.parent.playing equals true, plus a little bit of wait in there. So, this should be a functioning video script. Uh, let, let me just go ahead and run it real quick and make sure it's working. If it's not, we'll go ahead and fix it on video. But as you can see, there you go. We have some noobs battling, and because we don't have a lot of videos, you're gonna get the same ones in a row a couple times. So we'll just go ahead and wait for this video, and then we have a different video. So that is how you make a pretty basic movie theater script. Uh, and that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Uh, I won't go into like modeling of a movie theater. If you want help with that, I'd recommend uh, other YouTubers because I am a scripter. I don't do building, I'm not very good at that. Uh, but I will link to some good building tutorials in the description. So that's about it for this video. And again, if this video gets 100 likes, I will make a custom animation module that allows you to make your own videos. That would take a very long time, so if this video does get 100 likes, uh, expect like a month before that video comes out. But that's pretty much going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe, and I hope you found this useful. Goodbye.